second. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Today I want to take you through a day in my life, how I am training, what I am eating to cut into my weight class. I have a powerlifting comp on Saturday, which is two days from now. So I'll explain all the ins and outs of that later. But first things first, I want to take you through my protein waffle recipe because I pretty much make this recipe every morning. Sometimes I'll turn it into pancakes. Sometimes I'll stuff it with Nutella. Just depends on how many macros I have for the day and how I'm feeling in the morning and how much chocolate I want in the morning. As you'll see, I've already had one piece of bread smushed into a little half sandwich with some peanut butter and Nutella because I was starving and I needed it. Okay, I needed it to live for this moment. Also stay tuned to the end because tonight Michael and I will be cooking a low carb, high protein, really yummy dinner that I love and I'll, I'll record it all. And I hope to inspire you to cook more at home because the more we eat out, the less we know what's actually in our food. And the more you cook and the more you enjoy cooking, the healthier your lifestyle is, you know? So with that rant complete, now we do waffles. Now the base of this recipe is half a banana, an egg, and protein powder. You can use any protein powder that you own. They all work the same. What's gonna be different is the consistency. So this one's a bit thicker and I have to add some extra milk, but Venom Protein Australia, theirs dissolves quite easily and I usually don't need extra milk for that one. So just, it's trial and error. Add a tiny bit of milk to improve consistency. Okay. So the trick with protein waffles and protein pancakes, separate your egg. Add the egg yolk in first and then mix in the egg whites later and it will make it extra fluffy. So I've separated the egg whites, egg yolk and banana is in here. I'm gonna mash up this banana. 40 grams of protein powder. Also I'm using PE Science Select Protein Powder which is snickerdoodle flavored and it is the best protein powder I've ever found for waffles in my life. It tastes like cinnamon toast crunch and it makes your waffles taste like cinnamon toast crunch and I just can't say enough good things about snickerdoodle flavored things. Look at that. A dash of vanilla, you don't need it, but I like vanilla. Extra cinnamon because it's my favorite. A half a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix, mix, mix. It's really powdery and dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit of milk now. Oh shit, just spilled it everywhere. So it's just enough to make it like a paste. Then I'm gonna add the egg whites. Also, did you guys notice my Reese's cup? Like, this is life. I'm gonna add 20 grams of chocolate chips. You could mix in whatever you wanted. I mean, cocoa nibs would probably be a healthier option, but I love real chocolate. A little bit of oil, almost stick everywhere. The first one, you only want to put the waffle in the middle because depending on your protein powder and the baking powder, I've had my pancake or my waffles go out the side before. So do the first one as a tester and then you can make it bigger just in case it doesn't fizz everywhere. Waffle, I'm ready. Are you ready to be eaten? Oh yeah, look at that waffle. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Bam. Wow. Aren't they amazing? Amazing. Now let's talk toppings. I did 50 grams of reduced fat cookies and cream ice cream, which is just what we had in the fridge. I used 10 ml of maple syrup. Now, if you wanna reduce carbs, you can use uh, sugar-free maple syrup, or you can even, I tell my clients to take frozen blueberries, microwave them, add a bit of stevia, so it's sugar-free, and you get like a blueberry syrup happening and you mush them all up, it's delicious. So yeah, those are some topping ideas. I hope you guys love this waffle recipe, because it's, I love it, and I'm gonna eat it, and it's gonna be freaking amazing, and I'll check in with you after.
Waffles have been eaten, and now I want to do a little sit down, chat, tell you what's going on, and then I'll take you training. Comp prep, power lifting. I'm competing in the 84 kilo weight class. I naturally have been sitting around 92 kilos. The issue with this is like last year, there was only the 84 kilo weight class, which is like 72 to 84 kilos that you lift in, and then there's 84 kilo plus. So me, as a 92 kilo lifter, I was competing against girls who were 100, 120 kilos. You no, know, girls who, if you're bigger, you can lift more. And I felt like, of course, the competition was really only against, the competition was really only against myself. I wanted to have a more competitive feeling that, like, if I got within a, a more structured weight class, then I could compare my lifts to other girls and, and just you know try to be better that way because the, the competition helps my brain a little bit more. So last year I had given myself the goal to get down into that 84 kilo weight class but by the time I had decided to do it then they come out with new guidelines that provided a 84 kilo to 100 kilo, the, eight, the 100 kilo weight class and then there was 100 kilos plus. If you're in a weight class and you're sitting t more towards the bottom of a weight class, you have two choices, either cut down to the top of the one below or to bulk up to the top of your current one if you want to be competitive within that weight class. I mean, that's just my opinion. Moral of that whole story is I was unwilling to give up my goal of dropping down to the 84 kilo weight class, even though there's a weight class that I could go up into and it'd be fine. On Saturday, I will be competing in the 84 kilo weight class. I am currently 85 kilos. I have one more kilo to drop in like less than 48 hours. And what I'm gonna be doing is a water cut. Yesterday I drank six liters of water. The day before I drank five liters of water. I'm sure today I'll be drinking seven liters and tomorrow eight or nine liters. And it just depends on my weight in the mornings. It was so interesting because yesterday I woke up at 190. Sorry, now I'm going back to pounds. This is a problem. Born in America, living in Australia, I go back and forth between pounds and kilos like a bouncy ball in a small box. So, okay, now I'm switching to pounds. Sorry, guys. Yesterday, I was 190 pounds. This morning, I woke up at 187.6, and I was like, oh, and that's really because I sweat my ass off in a bathtub for 20 minutes. I did an hour's worth of cardio, a just steady state, just sweating, and I drank six liters of water, and I'm just excreting water like crazy and just peeing it all out. Then, hopefully, by Saturday, I'll be able to pee out another kilo of water. And then as soon as I weigh in, I'm going to eat and I'm going to drink water like crazy and refuel my body and I'll probably gain back five or so pounds on Saturday and then you know, getting back into the pre-water cutting stage of my body. But my point is if, is if you ever want to lose weight fast, you can water cut it, but it is not long term, it is not fat loss, it is water loss. All those crazy diets that say, you know, lose 10 pounds in a week, you're not losing fat. You're not losing 10 pounds of fat in a week. You're losing 10 pounds of water in a week. And you're putting your body through a lot of stress in order to do that. If you want to lose fat long term and keep it off, you only want to be losing one to two pounds per week, which is about 500 grams in kilos. Then that's a steady fat loss. If you're losing any more than that, then you're most likely losing water. You might be losing some more muscle. It's not going to be long-term maintainable weight loss. If you want me to do a video on how to do a water cut, just let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, um, I also want to just note here, macros. I have been slowly decreasing my macros. I have a coach who's been doing that for me because it takes away the responsibility of myself even though I am a personal trainer and a nutritionist I'd rather not have to think for myself because I find myself over analyzing everything that I do and being my worst critic so having somebody do that for me has really helped he's a great powerlifting coach he's also one of my very best friends my macros I'm currently on like 140 grams of protein 65 grams of fat and only like 120 grams of carbs but that only just happened yesterday to help me with the water cut so post comp I'm gonna take a little diet break I might do some food challenges I'm really intrigued about doing some sort of like eat as much as I can in a day sort of dealy and then like I want to see how my body responds after all that food. I've watched so many food challenges on YouTube and these girls, they eat, you know, like 10,000 calories, right? And the next day they wake up, they're five, 10 pounds heavier. But then within like three days, they've lost it all and they're back to their normal weight. And I was like, nah, 
No, nah, if I do that, it's gonna take me 10 days to get that weight off and I'm gonna, I'm gonna document it. And I'm gonna show you. Okay, so that's an update on my lifting and my foods. So now I'm gonna go train and I'll take you guys with me. Just to know what you knew Christmas every time we start locking eyes Oh, 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 oh lost control Oh, it's paradise with honesty But I, oh, 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 oh In the dead of the night Let the to give you guys a little bit of an update on food that I've eaten today. I have had two pieces of dark chocolate. I have had one spoon of peanut butter, 10 grams of wheat bix, which is literally four pieces of wheat bix cereal, which are these little rectangle guys. I just kind of been lightly snacking to keep myself alive pretty much. So I just finished working out. I had to quickly run home, switch cars, and I'm gonna go run errands with Michael. I grabbed, I literally grabbed, I have a packet of chicken here. Legit put a pickle in here. I, I grabbed a pickle, I stuck it in there. I'm gonna eat the pickle. And this is poverty dieting life. I don't have very much macros to, to play with and I can survive until dinner. Oh, and I also grabbed a protein shake, just 20 grams of protein powder, not a lot, just a little bit, just to fill myself up with more liquid, really, and keep myself full and sane. Training was good. You'll see that I did 600 calories or whatever on the cycle. My warm-up always consists of some sort of glute exercise, get glutes activated, squats, bench, deadlifts, going through the motions, going through technique, getting ready for Saturday. Yeah, that's my life. So I'll see you guys at dinner. Bye. Welcome back. It's cooking with Claire. <laughs> we're making San Choy Bao with beef mince, and we're also roasting veggies in the oven to make dinner tonight. Okay, beef mince. I need a sturdy steak. So now that we have browned meat, we're going to add mushrooms. I'm add a little bit of chili, a lot of bit of chili. Eh? Yeah, go for it. I added the chili first, and now I have a dirty spoon. Garlic. I'm going to add the veggies. This is grated zucchini and grated carrot. The meat is not all the way cooked because we don't want it dry and chewy. We were going to do a capsicum. Why didn't we do capsicum? Because you didn't get it out for me to chop off. So Michael graciously chopped up We're going to add red capsicum. Some spring onion. Yeah. Capsicum is definitely worth it. Now we're adding the sauce, and this is three tablespoons of soy, two tablespoons of oyster, and two tablespoons of sweet soy sauce. It's pretty much done. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and turn it off. Happy. Happy. We're gonna take. 
taste it and make sure that it has enough salt and enough sauces. It's spicy. Okay, Michael's turn. While I was cooking dinner, I also made Michael some white chocolate chip banana muffins so that he can take them to work for a snack. I'm going to serve up the San Choy Bao. We have these big old lettuce leaves and we're going to just stick that in there and we're going to wrap it up and we're going to eat it. I'm having two of these just for you. Vegetables. This one's Claire's. Broccoli. Carrot. Roasted with a little bit of oil and salt and pepper and mixed herbs. Nickels. Mm. Thanks for watching guys. This was the first time that I kind of recorded a little bit in front of somebody else. Even though it was just Michael, it was quite nerve wracking. Uh, this whole thing is so nerve wracking and I'm just doing my best and he's coming back and I'm gonna keep talking because I am confident and I am a woman and I can do this. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me feel like I should keep going. Please subscribe because I will be putting at least one video up a week. Mm. You ready, babe? Mm -hmm. you want me to do it for you? No. I'm more than happy to. No, I got this. No, no, stay. I want you to stay because I am confident. I'm a confident woman. And I'm able to talk in front of Michael and not be shy. I was just going to say, don't forget, I love who you are. Bye.